Hello guys, what is up? And uh, we're on our third episode of the How to Set Up Server, and um, this one's gonna be quick, pretty short like the last one. It's nothing that much, and you know the first one is obviously gonna be the hardest. But I'm gonna get into each plugin. <coughs> I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> but um, for this one. Um, we are just going to be doing the server dot properties and what each thing means. Uh, we will also be going over the band IPs, band players, the help. Um, also be going ops and whitelist. Um, so yeah, so let's open up server dot properties. In fact, let's cancel, open with other, and then just wanna, in fact, you can just go down here. Open it with text edit. Always open with. Um, open. Right. So you come up with this. Uh, that's not gonna help. <laughs> it's not gonna help. Uh, so basically, it says um, some stuff. So allow never. So if you know what the never is, um, then it's whether you want to allow it or not. And if you don't know what it is, it's basically a world where there's monsters and it's all fiery and if you want to allow your people on your server, your players on your server to go there then you want that true, but if you don't want them there you put it to false and it's pretty easy just to place the true with the false all in lowercase also the level name which is your world, so if we just go to here it says world, so this is our main world, so this is like where we load and I will be coming back to this in a future episode where I'm on about how to change the map of your server in the enable query I'm not too sure what it is we'll leave that for now allow flight so if you've ever been on a server and <laughs> uh, you've ever ha got hacks or someone gives you fly mode and then it says oh fly is not allowed after about 10 seconds of using it uh, that's because they have set theirs to false so if you want people to fly, set that to true. Server part, you can normally leave that. Level type default, that's normally good enough as that is. Um, level seed, so you can customise the seed. So, if you watched the first episode, you saw the world generate. If you change that, so seed, the seed, seed is actually a good seed um, to use. It gives you like four biomes around spawn. <laughs> and there's like an NPC village really close, so you can change that. Server IP, you can. Uh, I'd leave that blank if you've port forwarded it. Port forwarded it through Hamachi. <sighs> Max build height, leave that. Spawn NPCs. NPCs are people who spawn in NPC villages, i.e., known as villagers. Um, what's her name? Um. Which have you got on? Um, yeah, but those ones that have like long noses and normally in brown, unless you have a te texture pack. Whitelist is say your server is under development and you only want to allow a few people on. If you put that to true, um, when you go to the whitelist.txt, uh, you see it's blank. If I put that to true and put um, KCO in it, only I can join it. Also, all ops can join anyway, even if it's whitelisted. Um, so that's something to bear in mind. Spawn animals. So that's like, uh, do you want to spawn uh, cows, pigs, chickens during daytime? Normally, that's set to true, unless you want no animals or mobs. Online mode is quite important. Um, this basically. Um, if you have it on true, if anyone tries to join in a not premium paid a Minecraft account, then they will will not be able to join. It will say bad login. Uh, this is to stop people from hacking um, and trying to get on people's other people's accounts. If you put it for false, they will be able to log in. And if you do that, make sure it's either whitelisted. I well, have a decent plugin called XORF, which I will end up going over eventually. So yeah, uh, PVP true. That's pretty self-explanatory, but I'll go over it if you don't know what it is. 
Basically, it's whether people can kill each other, like players can kill each other. Difficulty, one, so one is easy, two is medium, three is hard, and zero is peaceful, I think. So, there's that. Game mode, zero, so that's survival. Um, if you put that in one, it would be a creative world, so it's pretty easy. So, if you want a creative server, you just turn that to one. Max players, so when you click on the server, like multiplayer menu, it will say so and so out of 20 players online. That determines how many. Spawn monsters, so this is, if you set this to true, this means creepers, skeletons, zombies, ghasts, ender dragons, and all that can spawn. Um, if you set it to false, they can't. <laughs> Generate structures, uh, just leave that to true, <coughs> makes it nice. A um, nice, like, world. View distance 10 is normally, um, MOT, MOTD is like, um, so if you just go. So if we do that, then we've also put the seed to seed, then say if we do that, save, uh, then we start the server. So it's starting it, it will be preparing the spawn again, um, so it's done apparently, apparently it's done, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> By the way, I'm just joining my local server, so it will be on my, so here, YouTube, the Peter Bear, so that's what I just changed it to, it's out of 20. So I joined, and the seed hasn't changed, um, I might need to redo that, but, yeah, that's not to worry about anyway, at the minute, it's quite a, it's like, all ocean. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, um, they're the basics of the... Uh, server properties, yeah, they're really straightforward, but just I know a lot of people are not sure what everything means, so yeah, that's just to clarify what it does. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll.